All right, guys, double unboxing here. We have a couple of very cool watches from Mimo, Mimo's Jewelry. You can see that's the Accutron. Actually, we'll go ahead and start with this one since it's a clear plastic bag. Now, don't freak out. I know people are going to be like, oh, my God, I can't believe that's how they ship Accutron. This is not how they ship Accutrons, guys. This is, when you buy one, this is not how it's going to come. It's not going to come just in a plastic bag, I assure you. This is just how Mimo sent it to me. So this is for review. Okay. I have no idea what's going on here, guys. I don't know a ton about the brand um, other than it's, you know, like a high beat quartz, essentially, I think, is how these work. But they're so much more than that. They're pretty wild. Um, let's see here. Whoa. Those things did like a spinny thing there. I don't know what's going on. Uh, yep, there it goes. <laughs> She's off and running. So you can see the extremely smooth sweep of the seconds hand, and you got that rotor spinning. There's a lot of weird things going on here. I don't know what that was. So that moves, apparently, too. So extremely accurate. I know that. These things are wild. I uh, love the case shape. Should be a pretty fun watch to experiment with. Um, a little on the pricey side. No doubt about it, 3300 bucks. But this isn't like off-the-shelf parts here. I mean, this is like wild, crazy quartz action here. So uh, let's move on from that. I can't wait to do the full video on it because I'm going to have to learn. Uh, that's always fun. Okay, next up, we have a Boulevard. I'm excited to see this one because this is a, definitely on the more affordable side of things. This is the, quote, parking meter. And you know what's funny is... I mean, they even, they embraced it. I thought, you know, a lot of times it's the watch enthusiasts, us, that name these. But, uh, yeah, they're calling it the parking meter as well. Now, I did see this one at the Worn and Wound wind-up show in Chicago. So I met up with the uh, Bulova Citizen and all that, those groups there. And I got to say, I'm a, I'm a instantly uh, a pretty big fan of this particular watch. It's just fun, it's cool, and they paired it with a very nice leather strap. So I don't know about the quality of it. It might not be super high quality, but it's crazy comfortable, I'll tell you that. Retail price of $5.95, so not bad. Uh, but this thing is super fun on wrist for sure. So we'll have to pull the grenade pin there and push that down and we can get it running. Don't want to lose that piece. But I believe these are a limited edition or something. I can't remember exactly what the scenario is, but... Definitely has that parking meter shape there internally, you know, that little, if you're used to the old school parking meters, I think they're different now, but chronograph hand goes, it's a bullhead design, sweeps around, so pretty fun, and I will do a full video on this. Pretty sure I'm going to end up buying this from Mimo, I'm not sure how, yes, yeah, it's limited edition, 5,000 of them, this is number 1,428, so... You know, 5,000, that's still quite a few, but in the watch enthusiast community, 5,000 of them might get snapped up pretty quick. It's hard to say. But at that price range, yeah, I'm probably going to pick one up. So video on both these as soon as I can, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to do my best to answer them. But like I said, I have a lot of learning to do on the Accutron, and um, I'm already a fan of the parking meter one. That's just a fact. But I have a lot of learning to do on this one because the $3,300 price tag, I better be able to, like, quantify why it costs that much. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys can help me out with that. Thanks for watching.